If she tells you these seven things, leave her immediately. If a woman ever tells you these seven things, guys, you're gonna pack your bags and you call it a day. She's immediately disqualified from anything long-term. Let's jump right into the video. Number one, he's just a friend. Guys, I fell for this in the past. I know a lot of guys have fell for this. The guy she tells you not to worry about, the work boyfriend, the guy, oh, he's nothing, he, he doesn't want anything with me. You know, we just, we've been friends for years. Whenever something wrong with you, whenever there's something wrong with you guys, you and her in the relationship, she's running to him. No man just wants to be a friend with your girl. You gotta know that dudes are savages. What your dude watching this, probably. 99% of my, my, my followers are, are men. This is a men's self-improvement channel. You know how motherfucking dudes are, don't you? You know you get horny, don't you? What you think that, that boy best friend of hers want? The same way you wanna hit it, he wanna hit it too. He just gonna lie. He just gonna lie. He gonna pretend. He gonna act like, oh no. Jeez, he's just a friend of mine. Man, these dudes be so full of cap. I had a live stream, you know, last year and I tried to get the girl to call her best friend and he was kind of stalling because he wanted to hit it. She was trying to get him a hang out. He was like, oh, I don't know, you're lying. Bro, they will take the chance. And if a girl isn't conscious enough to understand that, leave her. If a girl doesn't care enough to eliminate all the dangers in your relationship, leave her. Why do I have to explain to you that another dude will sleep with you if he had the chance? That doesn't make me insecure. As a matter of fact, that makes me more secure. If a man is willing to call out BS, if he's willing to protect his relationship by not allowing other men to, to jump in and maybe ruin it, he's very secure. You are insecure if you let that shit happen. You're an insecure man if you let another man possibly infiltrate your relationship by playing a friend role. Don't let this happen. There are no men in your life except your father and your family members. Other men don't exist. Other men shouldn't have your phone number. Other men shouldn't be able to hit you up when you fucking with me. You could be single. Oh yeah, baby, you could do whatever the fuck you wanna do. You can be single. That's my mindset, guys. You don't like the way I like things done, you can be alone. I'm not, I don't got you in handcuffs. You don't gotta fuck with me. You don't gotta be in a relationship with me. If you don't like my rules and regulations, you don't like how I want my relationship to be, you can go. I refuse to be with a girl while I'm over here worrying about what she doing. What I ain't doing all that. I'm just be single. I'm happy by myself. I don't need a relationship. I like being alone. I love what I do. I love coaching men. If you don't want to fuck with me, deuces. If you don't like how I like things done, deuces. I don't care. I know another girl will find me attractive. Number two, we need to take a break. Guys, if a woman ever tells you when you take a break, this is an excuse for her to go bounce on another dude's you know what? I fell for this, guys. <laughs> I fell for this. Man, they, and the thing is about women, guys, women want to do absolutely what is best for them at every single moment. So she doesn't want to completely break up with you. She wants to keep you around just in case the guy she wants to go experiment with doesn't work out. That's how safe they like to play it. It's called monkey branching for a reason, right? She holds on to one branch, you, and she's swinging for the other one. The moment she grasps the other one, meaning that dude wants something with her, she's letting go of you. Happens to me. Happened to me, bro. Happened to me. My, my ex in college did this to me. The girl who broke up my heart did this to me. They are they, they know how to play that game. They will hold on to you just enough. Even, even if they'll start to slip fingers, they'll go from a full grasp, ooh, the grasp goes a little light. That's when she starts pulling back. That's when she starts playing games. She's like, what the hell is going on? Then they go to four fingers. Oh, Lord, what's going on? She's starting to act really, really bad. She's being combative. She's arguing all the time. She's like, something is rubbing the relationship. Four fingers, three fingers, two fingers. She'll hold on with the damn pinky. She'll hold on with the damn pinky until she knows that dude is ready. When she's holding on with the pinky, you know what she's doing? She's hot and cold. You guys are breaking up and making up. That's when she's holding on with the pinky. She's trying to make sure the other dude is grasping her securely before she comes and lets you go. And sometimes she might be trying to grasp onto him. He lets go. He doesn't really want a relationship. She'll start to come back to you. Love bombing your ass. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been acting weird. I love you. I miss you. I want to get back with you. You're like, what the hell? You were just acting like you didn't want to be with me no more. The other dude didn't want nothing with her. Don't fall for this shit, bro. Don't you dare fall for this shit. 
Guys, self-respect, self-love. We ain't having it no more, man. We tired of this shit, all right? If you don't want to be with me, you're not finna play, play this game where you hold on to me, grasp on to me, and then play games with me, lie to me, gaslight me like something is going on. Because that's what they'll do, right? They'll gaslight the out of you oh ain't nothing happening my behavior isn't changing like yes it is you're pulling back you're acting hot and cold uh, everything is okay you're just insecure meantime she's trying to make sure the next dude he, he got it everything going on right before she leave you we ain't taking no break we breaking up number three it's always your fault guys if you ever dealing with a girl that can never take responsibility can never take accountability run away something is up with the relationship you notice her flirting with another guy or something she, it always seems to be your fault she finds a way to make herself the victim you ever been talking to a girl or you had a girlfriend and you caught her in doing some bullshit and by the end of it she made you feel bad you like hold up hold up i came here pissed off at you how the hell i'm at fault gaslighting you this is a woman that you need to break up with she will always find a way to blame you it will never be her fault and when she's with the next dude guess whose fault is it gonna be yours your woman needs to be able to take responsibility take accountability of the things that she does wrong hey we all fuck up i fuck up too you should be able to tell a girl hey baby that was my fault i screwed up on that and she should be able to do the same thing if your girl can't say you know what baby i shouldn't have made you feel any kind of way i shouldn't have made you feel any less of a man by acting like that that's my fault baby it won't happen again if she can't do that and if she always finds a way to blame it on you run away everything that will go wrong in their relationship will always be put it back on you number four she starts accusing you of cheating anytime a woman starts accusing you of cheating guys it's because she's projecting anytime she wants to start checking your phone all of a sudden it's because her guilt is is eating her up don't fall for it you like what is going on why are you curious to where i was now you never used to act like this why you want to check my phone why are you starting to get super defensive beta males you know they'll think oh man my girl just love me you start to feel a little proud oh yeah she checking up on me because she she afraid to lose me no the hell she not she checking up on you because she's cheating on you and her guilt is eating her up she wants to see that you're doing it too so she can feel better about doing it that's all it is anytime a girl is accusing you of cheating it's because she's doing it especially if you're not giving her any reason to now if you over here liking girls pictures on instagram doing all this nonsense and then she's wondering if you're cheating then okay but you would you you tend to notice this when nothing is going wrong and she just starts all of a sudden acting brash and random and erratic anytime a woman starts acting erratic guys it's always another dude <laughs> i can't say it no other way anytime you get erratic behavior meaning it makes no sense why she's acting like this why is she all of a sudden hot and cold why does she all of a sudden want to check my phone why does she all of a sudden want to check have my password why does she all of a sudden want to know my location it's another dude her guilt is eating her up she can't live with the guilt so she's coming and trying to project it on you she wants to feel better about cheating so she wants to catch you doing it so it can lighten the the guilt in her heart if you notice that start to pull away it's over it's over she cheating on you and you might as well you could take that loss right now so you don't get shattered in the future man number five you're too sensitive anytime you try to check bad behavior anytime you try to call her out on some bs she try to flip it around and gaslight you and call you sensitive she start calling you insecure anytime you hear those kind of words those shaming words anytime you hear shaming words guys no 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 the in your in your hearts of hearts it's time to go because now anything you do she can just easily say sensitive or insecure right she you had you had dinner with her she flirting with the waitress you call her out you're insecure right a guy come chat her up in front of you you check her about it because she she tell him no you're sensitive right you see how she can make anything be your fault it's a complete disregard of your personal feelings and your standards as a man. It's time to walk away. If you hear a girl call you sensitive, if you hear start hearing those words, insecure, sensitive, those shaming kind of words, it's time to go. It's kind of like the, it's always your fault. But now she's like labeling you. Anytime your girl starts to label you stuff, mm -mm 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 -mm. deuces.
you're not sensitive because you have boundaries you're not insecure because you don't want to be disrespected and i kind of blame you guys for this shit man y'all are sit up here and let these girls gaslight the hell out of you call you insecure for checking bad behavior how the hell am i supposed to feel confident to protect and provide for you when you act shameful in my name your woman should do nothing to disrespect you nothing to make you look weak your woman should act like you're the king of kings this is literally how your woman should be she should literally in the, in the face of planet on the planet she should treat you like you're perfect why because in private you guys can discuss in private you guys can communicate in private you guys can bicker not in front of the world so if you start to notice behavior where you're like damn She's starting to label me these things because I'm calling I'm calling out bad behavior. It's time for her to go. Deuces. Number six, she starts to point out and notice a lot more of your flaws. You're like, wait a minute. In the beginning of the relationship, I was handsome. In the beginning of the relationship, I, I, I couldn't do anything wrong. Now, let me say this before I get into this point because I know you motherfuckers. Do not, it does not mean you get to be fat and gain weight and become ugly with your woman and then try to say oh she's pouring out my flaws no, no 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 there's a give and take here you gotta you gotta be more attractive with your girl but if you know you you got your shit together you dressing well you smell good you you on point with your looks you doing everything you need to do to be a masculine man you ain't slacking you ain't getting complacent and she starts to point out stuff about you that you never noticed she did she starts to pick at little things about you i don't really like the way you do that you're like when was that ever a problem She's starting to get irritated by the little things. Every time a woman starts to get irritated by the little things, this is a sign that she's checked out mentally. You start to notice her point out your flaws a lot more frequently, she's checked out mentally. Guys, women check out mentally before they check out physically. A woman would check out of that relationship mentally a long time ago and just physically be there until she could pos until she could fully monkey branch. This happens in marriages all the time. I mean, a woman would be in a damn marriage and, and hate the dude for five, 10 years. She just don't want to leave the kids. She's done. She doesn't have a, a better option, so she just stays there physically, but she's out mentally. I don't want to be with a woman that's that's not mentally into me. I don't want to be with a woman that's not mentally in the relationship and trying to fight for it. So if you notice her starting to poke at little things, bite at little things, be irritated by the smallest stuff about you before she used to love the way you slept, nah, it annoys her. She used to think it was cute how you chewed on food. Nah, it annoys her. Not saying you chew on food like a rabbit. That's not what I'm saying. You still need to have proper manners, bro. Cause I know you motherfuckers will take every every word I say to the extreme. So I gotta make sure I make that clear. You have to have proper manners. Be masculine. Be clean. You know, keep your looks up. Do all. Do, do your part as a man to keep her interest high. If you're doing your part and she's not doing her part, she's starting to tear you down as a man instead of lift you up. It's time for her to go. She has mentally checked out. She used to be super supportive of your dreams. Now she's telling you you can't make it. And your level of grind and ambition is the same. Or you've even, you've even improved. You noticing that like she's not so much supportive no more. She's mentally checked out. Number seven, you work too much. Guys, I cannot tell you guys how this is such a big deal in a relationship. Most women guys cannot handle an ambitious man. Most women do not understand what it takes to be extremely successful. This is why I tell you guys, man, you should not live with a girl. A girl will, will hinder your future. I'm not going to cap, man. These girls will fuck y'all shit up. I be trying to tell you all, bro. So I tell you guys, man, to make sure you're well-rounded. You, you, you never neglect women. Because if you pick the wrong one, it's a big mistake. On the road to success, on the journey to the top, you need to put in as much work as humanly possible. If you want to be excellent in the world. I know the majority of y'all, y'all like to be average bums. I get that. I'm not speaking to y'all. I'm speaking to the 20, 15, 10% of men that watch the videos that are truly excellent, that really want the best out of life, that want to accomplish everything. That's the guys I'm speaking to in this point. In order for you to really become that man, you have to give it everything you got, bro. It takes every ounce of energy and more. 16 hour days, literally. Especially once you find what you're good at and then you can learn and market and do all that. You gotta doubt go all in. And if if she's not there saying, baby, you got this, if she's not there to be supportive, it's not gonna work. Because what'll happen is she'll she'll start to find that comfort elsewhere and then blame it on you when you really have big plans to go accomplish great stuff. Now, what I would say is you gotta sell the girl on your potential. 
You have to sell a bid of her being in your life when you make it. That is something I've never talked about and I want to make very, very clear. You have to be able to sell your potential to women. This does not mean that you need to go out there and tell her every dollar that you're making, but she needs to know that if you, she's going to stick around while you work this hard and dedicate all this work and time and energy, that you're doing it, you know, selfishly for her too. Human beings are selfish. Women are selfish. Men are selfish, rightfully so. We need to know that we get up, we get a, we get some uh, equity in this. She wants to know that if she sticks with you while you, you're not giving her so much time and energy and you're trying to be more successful, then when you do become successful, you won't necessarily walk away and leave her. So if you really want to be successful and you got a girl, sell her on some equity. Tell her, hey baby, you're a part of my life right now. I'm working to become better. I'm going to have to dedicate the next two years or three years to just being the best man I can be. I got I to gotta, I gotta grind. We might can't go to uh, uh, the Maldives this year. We might we, we might only go to Cabo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got we got a downgrade, baby. We might can't fly private for the next six months. We got to take first class. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we maybe we can't go to Nobu every night. We can only go to Nobu once a week. You know, baby, baby we got to sacrifice for a little bit. And what you would say is, hey, we got to sacrifice Nobu so we could fly private. We got to sacrifice Nobu, baby, so I could put you in that G-Wagon. I'm telling us how you got to do it. Human beings are selfish. You have to sell them with equity. This is with business, this is with relationships. Nobody wants to fuck with you just to fuck with you. If somebody wants to be a ride or die, they need to know that there's a there's a there's there's some sunshine at the end of the tunnel road. And I think guys don't do a good job of selling that. You got to sell your girl on her possible equity in your future. Not so much because you're trying to beg her to stay, but because you're, you're saying, hey, Stick around. If you don't, you'll miss out. FOMO, women, women's Achilles heel, said this shit before, fear of missing out. If you can tap into that FOMO, you'll keep a lot of girls. But if she doesn't, if she isn't supportive, after you sold her on that equity, after you explain to her why you're working hard, you gotta let her go. And that's it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'll get back with you guys next time.